Welcome to Microsoft Power Apps Tutorials. In this video, we'll discuss about data tables in Power Apps and we'll discuss what's the difference between data tables and the galleries. So for that, I'm going back to this mix.powerapp.com. Here, uh, I'll insert a gallery. And uh, when we click the gallery, we can able to see something called vertical, horizontal, flexible height, and blank vertical. We have a couple of options like this. I'll take this uh, blank, uh, I'll take this vertical one. I'm selecting the products here. And I uh, will modify this gallery a bit. So this contains uh, like a image and uh, which contains a title as well as camera cost which is representing and also we have a icon here which is on a right icon and I don't want this icon I'll close this one I'll remove this one here so once we remove that um, when we go to the gallery here we have title and subtitle which is actually depending on the image which we placed earlier so that's why which is not appearing here if you want to uh, you know if you want to move this one you have to go back to the width of that particular uh, label I'll select width from here so which is showing zero and it should not be zero the width should be I'm just putting 200 and again so which camera cost also coming here so I'll place like this and if I want to add some labels or text boxes here, I can able to add. Uh, so for that here, we have an app option. When I click this label, I can I can able to see the label here. So which is 13 in pixels and which is a normal font. And if you want to make this semi bold, something like this, you can able to make that. So now we have three labels on this and there is a separator also available. I'll decrease the height of this uh, row and this would be fine now here we have the border and I'll select a two pixels for the border for this gallery and I'll, I'll name it as a gallery in the top I'll take a label outside of it I'll name this as a gallery name this as a gallery then uh, if you want to increase the size you can able to increase the size of that and I'll make this one as bold now we'll come back here I'll try to insert a data table I'll select the data table so when I select the data table it also looks like a, a gallery and which is also asking for a data source here I'm again selecting this product so when I select the product, I have the headers for the fields. Now I have a title here, I have camera, I have TV, I have a mobile. So the data which is representing in a column format, when I try to select this one, which is looking like in a column, and when I try to select this one, and which is selecting in a row. But if I try to select the row, I cannot able to select in a data table. You can able to see and uh, each and every column will have a properties when I select this one and each and every row will have an a properties. Now the major difference between a gallery and a data table, so data table works in a column fashion and the gallery works in a row fashion. So which means if you try to update anything in the data table which accepts only the column information like when I select this one I can able to I can able to see this this item dot title and when I click this one this item dot camera and which is selecting a column which contains a properties but if I go back here so each and every user control which we inserted which have the properties its own properties and uh, the row contains the properties there is no column structure in the gallery and uh, there is no row structure row structure which is available we can able to see the data but we cannot able to modify anything on the row manner but in the gallery we can able to do that and the thing is for example if i select this data table when i try to insert anything like if i try to insert a label the label is adding outside of the data table which is not adding inside the data table if you select the gallery for example i am selecting this gallery if i try to insert a button or a label something and which will be added to every place or each and every row of the gallery 
and uh, you can implement the functionality here the events will occur but in the data table we don't have any option to do like that we cannot able to do any uh, we cannot able to insert anything on the data table data table will not allow you to insert the user controls and gallery will allow you to do that and also for example so we discussed in the crude operations video if you want to click anything with a button like if you want to update and if you want to add the data and i explained clearly on that uh, video and uh, you can able to select this one using this property something like this item dot id you can pass in a variable you can select this particular item and you can redirect to somewhere but in the data table we don't have any option in the data table when you click this one you can see the visible property can grow our header text and is a hyperlink if you have any hyperlink and you can make the hyperlink here so we have a couple of advanced option but there is no option to make this like make to select any row in the data table and also there is no option to insert the user controls as well and here the gallery which is which don't have any field names like here the field name is coming like title camera tv mobile but here you don't have that so you cannot able to insert the field uh, headers in the galleries if you want to insert the field headers you have to do outside of the gallery and you can able to adjust based on the information which you are passing but there is no interrelation between that and the external label which you are inserting and there is no you know dependency on the uh, row information on the field names which you enter in the above of the gallery which is something like an, a static thing you can able to do but this is a dynamic fashion for example if i go back to the properties of the data table so when i select this data table if i click this edit fields uh, example if i if i don't like to display the tv information i can able to remove this one and now you can able to see only the three fields for example if i drag and drop like this the mobile would be in the second place and the title i want to keep in the last place i can able to do that if you see that the title is in the last and camera is in second place and mobile in in the first place so this way you can able to drag and drop the fields uh, based on that only the information will render on the data table so data table most most likely it's a kind of a static information which shows uh, which is coming from the data sources galleries is not like that you can able to insert the labels even though you can able to uh, insert the buttons to do some kind of uh, uh, you know uh, some kind of events to be occurred so that way you can able to implement that so that's a major difference between the data table and the gallery